Greetings and welcome back to Factorio DIY World. I'm Degray, and today we continue our story mode of DIY World. Where in the last episode just got our um, start of our smelting arrays, tin and bronze up and running. In today's episode, we will continue with the objectives and we will hopefully start our first little mall to make some of these uh, basic items. I think that could be, be quite cool if we get out that automated. So if you think this is a good idea, do remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe and hit the bell button. So um, let's see here. Right now, this is slowly chucking along, making a few things. But as you can see, it's not the fastest thing in the world. So um, what I want to do is uh, probably start constructing our first little mall uh, just to get things off the ground. So far, we do have uh, things flowing in in a somewhat steady pace, which we can uh, can use for uh, all different kinds of buildings. As you can see, this is building up very nicely and bronze is going in very, very quickly with a current setup. So what we need to figure out at the moment is um, how far down do we need to make this to have it big enough to uh, build on the top side and also have enough below for uh, future production. And of course, how many, um, what's it called, lanes we should have. Uh, what if we keep it somewhat at this height? Uh, right here we have 20, that's going to give us 40 plus 8, so maybe a bit further down than this. Let's do it here, and then have for now one lane of each. Might need more, but I'm not sure how much this uh, mod pack requires. So having a lane of each for now might actually not be that bad to do. Um, let's do this so it's actually hooked up correctly. Correctly, correctly, but at least hooked up in a way where um, we can do some things with it. You go here, because then I can have the undergrounds be um, used. And the reason that is, it will be a bit waste of belts doing that, but in terms of having the same system of everything, I do like keeping it uh, like this. So hooking up a mole. This one will go all the way down to here. We'll do them at lanes of four as always, planning out what we need to do and making sure that we have some space in between for them to jump into uh, to the area. Do I want to take it down just a smidge more? No, let's let's keep it here. I, th I think that'll be that'll be fine. Having two lanes going up this way. So let's just mark out you. This is pretty much where this one will go to. Having two jumps, so it has to stop here. Making sure that this will go up next to it. You want to keep maybe two spots in between before we start to build. You also have a bit of leeway, so. I'll go with our, um, our normal setup of, uh, of this and continue it this way. So, like I said, I want to try and do it as uh, what I normally do in uh, entry level 2 mega base and such. So first, let's craft a few of you. I know we'll need quite a bit. And we're trying to keep it somewhat in line. What if we then start it? What about right here? Let's do it here for now, then we'll do that, remove the middle ones, and then we'll have gears output in the middle, as um, what we normally do. I think that would be uh, the optimal way to do it. So let's see, you will be gears, as one thing. Gear, gear, and over here, normally we do pipe, so I might want to do that again, as I know pipe is used for a lot of things down the line. So let's keep our, um, our current way of doing things. 
at least until it, uh, it breaks down, I think this will be, be fine. So, lane in. The lane in we want right here will be a lane of, um, of bronze. Going in, jumping from here to the middle. We'll do the same on both sides, so we'll also have a line over here going up. Three, four. With bronze going in. And please jump you from here to there. And voila. So sticking with the principles we know, just uh, until we figure out it don't work anymore. Uh, one way I actually noticed that it won't work right now is that we don't have electric uh, burners. And that should mean that in instead of doing this, we should probably try and go do this one. Hopefully unlock some electric things and actually get this going. So um, let's go kill some natives. Let's make them out there. Uh, it's called these two. Then we'll come back to this in just a little bit. When you learn things, uh, you know what to do. So I'll run to... Let's run to this little nest over here, place down some turrets and get some native skills and hopefully get us further, further along. So I'll meet you at the Biter base. So I made it to the Biter base and let's uh, start to place down a few things that can actually help us. Uh, brought about 3000 bullets. Hopefully that'll be enough to clear out the nest. And that is always um, exciting to see if that's enough as we do use bullets at a pretty steady rate. That seems good enough. That's gonna take it up this way, so let's just make sure we actually uh, get enough of them running before we um, run out of uh, things. Come on. Bring it in. That works, that works. Come on, let's fill up our little quest and see what the next thing is unlocked in terms of research. Hopefully something with electric, as that will make my life a lot easier. On a few more, and there we are. Okay, the remaining four recipes are decrypted. They are for copper and iron. Isim Koika is helping me without my knowledge. They're ineffective res inefficient recipes, but they will do for now. Eventually, eventually, I will get to bloomeries and blast furnaces, and maybe even fusion crafting. The scanner's picking up the massive energy signal. Last night I could have sworn I saw a light and movement in the sky. I am starting to think that there is more intelligent life than myself, and the natives, if you can call them intelligent, they seem to be a form of massive spider-like ant with basic instincts. I should really hurry with getting Koika before whatever else is on this planet finds me. That's ominous. So, kill natives, craft copper cables, craft one iron gear. So, that's gonna do half of it. See? Copper cape. Craft or clear copper cable. We did that. Yes, got that unlocked. Then we need to craft one iron gear. For that, we need iron ingots. And for iron ingots, we just need a ton of things. That should be easy enough to set up back at the base. Then, might want to clear out the space quickly. And so we don't have to worry about it in the future. I want to kill the last few naces before we do it. <laughs> Look at that silly one trying to eat the rocks. So come on. One more, then I'll go in, in for the kill. There we are. Please take out everything. Let's repair a bit. There we are. 
So, we clean up the nest. We just need to go craft. That takes a long time to repair. We just need to go and clear out. I built one gear to get to the next part of, uh, of the quest chain. So, I'll meet you back at the base where we'll craft it. So, back at the base, looking at our recipes for iron ingots. And one thing I'm noticing is that we need charcoal. And uh, so far we're not making charcoal anywhere. So, um, luckily we have a ton of wood from our little wood system down here. So, making charcoal should be as simple as just making this in a somewhat ugly fashion. Over here, grab it. A few thousand wood and adding it into here and taking some was it just a oh, limestone which we also have a ton of right here so here we go charcoal being produced needed for this one let's just make the kiln here maybe or take it up top now uh, let's just set it up here uh, might have been more useful to get all of you fixed or doing anything else so there we go you're in here is some pure iron ore the charcoal is getting made so we can actually get you made so that means now we have iron ingots again something we want to hook up at um a smelting area though i'm a bit sad that these two have two fuels as loading it with the burn inserters will be a bit more annoying not impossible just a bit more annoying yeah. make sure it doesn't put charcoal down here when we just want it in the top one so one iron gear or two in this matter and let's see what else we unlocks finally koika is extracted the recipe for it is done. It's going to take a lot of resources and a lot of time to craft, but I should make this a priority. When crafted, I should be able to build and repair my walls a lot quicker. Hmm. Once it's built, I will take some. T it will take some time to start up, but I can probably do logic first, so I can start up while crafting it. The natives are getting more and more restless. There is something weird going on on this planet. The attacks still keep coming. It seems with greater strength. Last night, something happened again. Instead of moving lights and noise like a few nights ago, there was some kind of aurora in the sky. I can still see it during the day. It seems to be an unnatural thing. I can feel some kind of power emanating from it. That's a her with crafting Koika. She can probably figure out what is happening. Okay. Basic power armor. Crafted, so that's what we have here. So that we have more than enough for. And for these, ooh, copper plate, iron plates, that is actually somewhat expensive. But if we have some basic production, we should be fine. So is copper plate the same thing? Might want to relocate this up top. As we have all this at the ship. And then we will shift things around. Um, copper plate, copper ingots, impure copper. That's a ton of impure copper. So let's just steal a bit of you. Or a lot of you. And, uh, and use that for a few things up here. So one, two, three, four. Let's do that for now. Then we probably need a few up here as well. Let's go there and there. So, charcoal. Here is some limestone. Here is some woods. That should fire you up. Oh, don't do it here, please. I'd like to get all for that. Then. Yes. Ah, cool. Then we'll have some iron ingots. We'll have some copper ingots. 
things you also need to automate at um, or um, main bus and a race very very soon but this should at least get it off the ground and in iron ore you anything else we need to get up and running we have all of these going now we have bronze going and the recipes if you look here let's go down to that one we should be able to make basic power armor how's the housing basic power armor please craft wait don't do it like that take you out then do it I don't have an, an extra in or inventory. So let's see. That'll give us the power armor. Then we just need you. Which is a bit more expensive, but should be somewhat easy to do anyway. Equipment grid. Housing. Crafted by player. So we need to craft one of... Oh. Is it something more than that? You made in something special. You will only need one, will never run out. Nanobots. Okay, so we need to craft you. Iron plates, copper plates. You require some fuel. Let's grab a bit of coal. And then we have some storage. There we are. And where is the recipe for it? Is it just made in a normal crafting thing? That's why I can't find it. That's the housing. That's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. Very, very strange. Oh, it's that one. Core applique, intelligence coordinating assisted. You only need one, will never run out. So we, do we have infinite nanobots then? When I craft one of these. You can just go for now. Or we can do the same setup here, getting the rest of them fixed. Well, I should be just a tiny bit faster. Ooh, and bigger chest. Perfect. Let's grab a bit of wood from here. And craft those 17. So, one, two, one, two, and two. And we'll just set up a very, very simple production for uh, a few things here. Uh, couldn't feel just use lotus and direct inserts of these, so copper, iron ingots, and we needed the wire as well. Yeah, look at that, they are all producing. Um, right now it's just loaded with the uh, with manual, but that might be fine just here for the start. Let's see, and you can get some more. Let me some more here as well. Oh yeah, it's charcoal you're missing. I'm such an idiot. Charcoal. There we are. So, now we have all the things being produced. Let's see, you, you, you. And you just require a few more copper and iron plates. Which will get done at some point. Let's, we can always help it along a bit. Iron plates is the last thing we need. The final frontier.
And just a few more, please. And then we should have what we need at the moment, just missing plates. So hopefully this will unlock more. Of course, it unlocks the nanobots will make our life a whole lot easier. And uh, let's hope it starts what it says, that we don't need anything else. There we are. Come on. Grab. Uh, oh, 200 seconds to craft. So um, I'll just select craft and then we'll be back just before it's done. So almost done crafting now. I just wanted to get in before it was actually done as uh, milestones are more fun with you guys. So let's see what it unlocks. More story, I'm guessing. So uh, let's see. Corica starting up. Activation done. Or activating done. Crash detected. Increasing security levels to survival mode. All security levels available. Commander, how can I help you? Quaker, can you scan the planet and find its location relative to Earth? Of course, Commander. Commencing scan now. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Commander, scan complete. The location of the planet relative to Earth is undetermined. Scan show unknown. Unknown constellations, not consistent with Earth's perspective. Expanding to known human settlements on other planets reveals the same information. Stars do not align with the Milky Way or Andromeda. Okay, that is weird. Maybe you can find something more once, uh, something more once we build a stronger scanner. What about this planet? This planet is much like Earth. Atmosphere and Atmosphere content is very similar to Earth, but carbon dioxide is not found on the planet other than what we what you produce. Commander. Something else is producing the greenhouse effect that CO2 normally does. I'm also picking up a very powerful energy sector. Very powerful energy signals all around us. It's in the atmosphere and in the ground. The location of the main source is hard to find. Please give me a few minutes to try and locate it. That might explain the Auroras and the way the natives act. And they also explain why the ship crashed. crashed. Scans of the ship show it was bombarded by some kind of exotic energy. This kind of energy could in theory puncture a hole in space time. However, this kind of energy was never proven by scientists. Hmm. This all seems weird. Exotic energy and some kind of energy that is on this planet. Could they be connected? They could, but this requires scanning equipment we currently do not have access to. We should begin constructing on better scanning equipment, unlocking some recipes to create basic, basic energy alongside buildings that use the energy. We should also research the ore on this planet. This will allow us to figure out how to purify them and make great strides into getting off the planet. I created a building to research it. This plus six new recipes are now unlocked and ready to be used. Finally, now we're getting somewhere. Energy signature located. It's found on another pl another planet. The energy signature is most likely coming from a large metallic object that produces some kind of exotic energy. That is far away. How can it can a machine on another planet cause effects here? I have no idea, Commander. This is a problem. By scanning for the energy signal, I seem to have attracted something. There's a sizable metallic object heading this way. It seems to be hostile and approaching fast. What? How? Can you find out what it is so I can defend against it? I'm sorry, Commander. Scans reveals nothing. It does carry, however, the same exotic energy that brought down the spaceship. I'm also picking up strange transmission. Crap. Okay. I'll create basic energy quickly and focus on defending or defense automation. May whatever it is, it is the guns might shoot down. <laughs> shoot first, ask later. Okay, so we hear some transmission now. 
Build missile boards or build basic boilers, build steam engines, electric drill. Basic as simplest and build natives. That doesn't sound very good. So it unlocked a ton of recipes for us. And uh, we do have the area for our, um, our main bus. So we can start building there. And we can start to set up better production for fuel and such. And more importantly, basic electronic drills. So we can start to mine without that. And a simplest. Perfect with power. Do we have to insert us yet? And uh, no. So expand the main bus just yet might not be the best. So what I want to get done still this episode is um, is start to set up some uh, better what's called power production. Uh, what if we do it down here? We'll know our main bus goes to the right in this scenario. What if we then have our power going maybe to the side of this? Or maybe out that way? Yeah, why don't we do that? I think that would be a very wise decision. And solar panels. Or this one, the power things. That is somewhat expensive, so let's wait with that. I just want They only need boilers. In fear we should set up some production at our current area. What happened to boilers? Am I blind? Pipes, things. Did we get boilers unlocked? Yes, recipe boiler. Where are you hiding? Ah, there we are. So we can set up this to get things off the ground. Might be the easiest way to do it now. Or, um, to be honest, I might, in between episodes, just set up some uh, simple production here for these basic materials. So we can start to set this up at the start of next the next episode, so I don't uh, spend the next half an hour crafting all of this. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode and agree with uh, me building these things between episodes so you guys can see it in action. If you do, do remember to leave a like, subscribe, and do comment down below what you think about this, as, uh, this series. What do you think about the story so far? It is at least intriguing in, uh, in terms of what's going to happen. So, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been Degray, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.